You are now tuned in to Freeing the Minds TV, home to mindful living. Peace, love, and light. Peace and love, peace and love. Another day above ground out here alive in life, in nature, observing these herons. And I don't mean drugs. <laughs> Talking about the birds over here, man. We're gonna get some good footage of them, man. Well, I don't know if it's gonna be the greatest footage because I only brought my phone out here, out on a bike ride this morning, catching some oxygen, feeling a lot more in the positive, man. Moving the upward up, moving in the light. Moving in the positive, moving in the strength, moving in the love, moving in the peace of mind internally. It was a lot of anxiety at first, but I'm starting to get there, man. I'm starting to get there, balancing out, taking time, a lot of reading, a lot of studying, nature time as well, spending time in nature, um, doing a lot of work on the mind as well as on the body. So I'm reading positive things, reading healthy foods, reading healthy things for the mind, things that put my mind in a positive atmosphere, things that strengthen my mind. Um, stimulate my mind, empower the mind. At the same time, add more creativity to the mind too as well. So I've also picking like um, books that help me develop my art, help me develop my craft, getting deeper into the studying of self, trying to perfect one's craft, perfect one's work, perfect one's self. Ultimately, deep diving into one's own self-perfection, we can get lost in it. And we also find a healing in the process of making ourselves better trying to be a better person, trying to be a better version of you. So um, I've just been doing a lot of time doing that, spending a lot of time doing that, self-centering, um, centering the self, gathering myself, paying attention to my emotions and my internal um, inclivities or what have you, just paying attention to those things and um, not even setting no finger or checking any box on anything, not ironing anything in or labeling anything, but just watching it all pass because we know all this stuff is just transitory. A lot of this stuff is just shifting and changing, shifting and changing, which is always the path, always the path of growth and development, always the path of life, shifting and changing, just like the seasons do every year. We do these things throughout our lifetimes. So it's ultimately um, staying strong, staying fortified within the self, man, and having confidence in the self, man. Believe in the path, believe in the course, trusting the floor, the flow of this life, Trusting the flow of your life, you know, developing a deeper connection with life, a deeper connection with your source, the root source of all things, and walking in that, walking in that faith, walking in that truth, walking in that love, walking in that light, in that strength, in that fortitude, but that'll be your source, your foundation of peace, the source of your foundation of solace, the source of your foundation of fortitude, the source of your foundation in all creator so that being said um spend time doing the work while we have it it's a great time to be doing the work just making your surroundings better making your mind better making yourselves better ourselves better so we're out here this morning Catching some sunrise, catching some lakeside, catching some bird's eyes, and just enjoying it. So that being said, man, I wish you love and light moving forward. Continue to move forward strongly in harmony, in step pace with self, with divine self, meaning don't do anything you wouldn't do. Do the best things that you would do and do them the best way that you can. Setting our best selves forward, putting our best selves forward, moving forward together. What does that look like? How does that appear? 
we see a lot of shifting and changing and we don't know where everything is clear. So it's ultimately, um, we'll find that balance in the process of this chaos. We'll find that balance as the smoke and the dust clear and settle. So um, stay strong, stay at it, stay righteous, stay love. I love y'all, keep moving forward. I'll be back on here soon. Peace and love, let's get on into it. Indeed, indeed. So we're just out here observing nature. Observing nature in her natural environment. Doing exactly what she naturally does. Her naturally beautiful divine self. Nature. Notice how everything just happens. Notice how everything simply is is being is being totally and completely itself it's not compromising it's not cowtailing it's not contradicting itself it is committed Committed to its being. Committed to its survival. Committed to its existence. Committed to its extension of life. Progression of life. And cycles of life. Every day may not be the same. Every day will not be the same. Some see each day anew. Others see each day as the day before. Another blessing. How one sees is how one will proceed. What one sees is how one will engage or disengage. So we observe and pay attention to the subtleties of life, the little things, the little things that make the biggest difference small things that make the greatest impact. The humble beings, the meek beings, the peaceful ones that beautify your environment and make you happy you've come around. That offer and rarely take strive to offer our greatest self to our surroundings the best of our abilities to our environment making ourselves useful to those who love us and being attentive to those we love Now is a good time to slow it down. One's actions, one's thoughts, one's breath, and movement. Paying attention to the in-betweens. 
the in-betweens. The in-betweens between action and animation. There are key drawings, key frames, key poses. But it's the in-between illustrations that make them fluid from one post to the next, from one post to the next, from one action and carrying out that action smoothly. It's the in-between illustrations, the in-between frames, the in-between thoughts, visions, illusions, ideas. In these gaps, these in-betweens, these thoughts in between action is where we will gain strength these thoughts in between action is where we will gain momentum. These thoughts between actions, we will find our truths. We will find ourselves. We will find our intention. These thoughts in between. Only through slowing things down can we see the in-betweens. Slowing things down, can we get in between, between our own selves, who we are and what we will be, where we're at and where we're going, what is and what will be, come, the in-betweens help bring these things smoothly into manifestation accurately in their own proper timing. So slow down. Breathe. There is no rush. Once it's over, it's over. And it's on to the next. While we are here, beautify yourself. Beautify your life. Beautify your expression. Bring into life and into existence and into your internal surroundings and eternal surroundings the truth of who you truly are deeply within your heart, honestly within your mind, and truthfully within expression. Be that. Nothing less everything more. Strive to reach your greatest peak, this life, here and now. Love, light, and bountiful blessings. Love,
visit www.freeingtheminds.com for your unique, original Freeing the Minds merchandise and apparel.